YouTube, this is Geographic Scholar. Today's video is going to be about urban geography, urban planning, and policies. Before I get started, you notice we have Landsat images. I will be using this in the video today. This is actually Google's Earth Engine. It came out with this recently and it's a very valuable tool. You have a collection of all types of Landsat images that have been collected for a very, at least in this video, you're going to see Landsat images from the past three decades, you know, for the past 30 years. Land, the Landsat program has been collecting images for the last 40 years. So, congratulations to them for this program. And let's get started. What I've got here is a map of Las Vegas, Nevada. Let's scale this back a bit. This is Las Vegas from 1984. At the time its population was around 164,000 inside of the city and the metropolitan area had a population somewhere around 580,000 to 600,000 people. Let's watch this city progress over the years. As you've noticed, the city of Las Vegas has grown very quickly and very immensely in less than 30 years. The population as of 2010 was recorded over, over, over 583,000 residents and for the metropolitan area close to around 1.9 million people. That is, and you look at the expansion of Las Vegas. Now, we are going to show Portland, Oregon. That's Portland, Oregon for you right there. This is Portland, Oregon in 1984. As you can see, the Portland metropolitan area has not had as big an expansion as, say, Las Vegas in that same time period. However, the populations today in Portland and in Las Vegas are quite similar in numbers. And now one may wonder, why is it that Las Vegas has spread out and Portland has managed to maintain a similar boundary from 1984, albeit suburban areas like Beaverton seem to have some more growth as well. Well, a lot of this has to do with urban geography, urban planning, and policies. Portland, Oregon had the urban growth boundary, which dates back to the 1970s, which basically meant there were certain areas you just were not allowed to build in. You know, a, a line was drawn and you were told you do not build past this line. And... I'm going back to the 1984 image. What you had was a lot of the growth was it wasn't you didn't have a big spatial spread of the growth. What you had was more it encouraged more infill. 
it encouraged more growth inside of the city rather than to sprawl everywhere. It is actually quite interesting to understand that the Portland metropolitan area has well over 2 million people. And the Las Vegas metropolitan area, albeit it has spread spatially, has not quite reached 2 million yet. Actually, it might have, I don't know the latest 2013 estimate. However, this is Las Vegas as of 2012. Population inside of the city about 583,000 or more. Population for the whole metropolitan area around 1,900,000 residents. Now, there are some other things you have to look at. You know, consider this. That is Lake Mead. Lake Mead in 1984. Lake Mead now. You notice it has contracted. It has receded you notice that it's not as big as it used to be. Well, this is part of why geography is important. Because if you notice the terrain of Las Vegas and the terrain of Portland, this is a desert right here in Las Vegas. Las Vegas is a desert. And what you have is a situation where you have many people coming in. You have many people coming in from California going into Nevada looking for a place to live that was cheaper. And you also had people who were retiring moving to Las Vegas. Portland, Oregon, you had people coming in from California. The difference, however, was with the urban policies. Portland, Oregon tried more, its approach was more try to control the growth, whereas Las Vegas built all the way out into places that had previously not had much of a population. 1984, 2012. And one result of this here in Las Vegas is some environmental issues, mainly the straining of water resources. And because of that, Lake Mead has contracted a bit because you have million you have over a million people needing that water for their lawns, for drinking, and for other things. And you know, this is why it is important to study geography because geography, you know, you look at it, there are a lot of force. It, if you think spatially, you would learn certain factors can affect a place. With Las Vegas, a metropolis in the desert that expanded very quickly put water resources under strain which has some environmental impact whereas portland oregon has controlled its growth and it has responded to that as a way to prepare as a way to preserve its environment That is what I have to say for this video. This is Geographic Scholar signing off. Everyone have a great night.